Hey YouTube, what's going on? This is LA here from Perimeter Scout and I'm making this video to bring some awareness to all the people that are affected by the current economic situation and are anticipating a stimulus check from the government. So the government has recently created a stimulus package that is going to provide financial relief as well as stimulate the economy. And many people are anticipating these stimulus checks and this is great and it's much needed relief to all the people that have been affected by this disaster. However, with this comes opportunity for malicious actors. This has created a vulnerability with people and an opportunity for malicious actors. There has been a recent surge in scams and scams related to stimulus checks. One of the more common methods of scamming is phishing. Phishing scams are cyber crimes where the criminal poses as a legitimate source in order to collect personal information from victims. And these, these scams typically come in the forms of emails and websites, but they can also come in the form of text messages and unsolicited phone calls and even physical letters in the mail. Uh, many people are at a vulnerable point in their life and this vulnerable point provides a perfect opportunity for malicious actors to prey upon and so what I wanted to do with this video is sh show you guys an example of a phishing website and how you can protect yourself from becoming a victim of these types of cyber crimes so here in a recent article from abnormal security they discuss a phishing attack that impersonates a major financial institution in order to collect personal information so this attack begins with the attacker sending a targeted email so the attacker sends an email to the victim and the victim reads this email after receiving it and sees that there has been a hold on a potential account and that they need to sign on in order to accept payments for their um, stimulus payment. So the victim, after reading this, clicks on the link provided in the email and goes to a landing page, which can be considered the payload. So the landing page is crafted to look like an authentic financial institution. Um, as you can see here, it looks by appearance like a legitimate financial institution. There is a username and password field. And from here, the victim inputs their personal information onto this malicious site, causing the attacker to receive the user's valid credentials as well as compromising the victim's personal security. Now, this is a classic example of a phishing attack that is going to reappear in many different forms from numerous domains using various financial institutions such as Chase, Discover, American Express, various other financial institutions. Now the unfortunate thing is that there will be many people that succumb to these types of attacks. Now as I said, there are ways that you can protect yourself and not become a victim of these phishing attacks. So one important thing that you can do in order to determine if you are clicking on a phishing attack is identifying the address by looking at the address, looking at the domain and seeing if there's any kind of misspelling in a domain name or if it looks suspicious, or if there's any other suspicious characters in the name. As we can see here from the sender, the sender's domain name is appproject.org. Now, my assumption is that this appproject.org does not match the financial institution. Another method that you can do is to go directly to the source. So, if you are receiving an email from chase.com rather than clicking on the sign on link and go into the profile and settings as it states right here in this crafted email you would just go to your address bar and type in chase.com log in and see if there's any 
notifications or messages from Chase officials. If there are, you can take care of your situation. If not, then you could call or email the people at the financial institution such as chase.com to see if there's anything that needs to be resolved with your account. Now, another thing you could also do is you can scan the link. So in this situation here, um, the link is provided and since it's a hyperlink, you would typically be able to right click on the link and copy the link. Since this is a screenshot, I can't actually right click on the link. However, this article did provide the actual site in which the attacker uses. And so I'm going to go ahead and copy this link. And I'm going to use a scanner, a popular scanner in the cybersecurity community called Virus Total. Now, Virus Total is a website that uses various threat detection engines to analyze files and URLs and in this case since we want to scan a link we're going to click on URL and we're going to paste the link into the box below. Once we hit enter the virus total engine is going to scan the link using various engines and present us the results now, as we can see here, there are nine engines that have detected suspicious activity. And based on the results here, I will not want to visit this link. Now, if you're interested in doing more research on phishing sites, there are great resources, tools, and websites out there. Um, one of those sites is called urlscan.io. urlscan.io is a great site. It allows you to search for websites of interest, then provide you with information about that website. Here in a recent scan that I conducted, I was able to find a malicious phishing website based off of the financial institution Navy Federal. Navy Federal is a financial institution whose target demographic are military veterans and families. Now, based on the information that we see here, we see that it is currently flagged as a malicious site. Uh, the origin of the site is in a different country, as we can see from the IP address and the domain information that's listed below. More importantly, though, what we can see here is that the URL has a misspelling in it. Uh, Navy Federal has an R in it and this website actually changed the R with an F. I went ahead and pulled up Navy Federal's original website as well as this phishing website so that we can get a side-by-side -side comparison of the two. Now this is the phishing website as we can see here it looks like an authentic Navy Federal website with the username and password form as well as various other links and web articles to click on. And the tab that I have open here is the original NavyFederal.org website. As we can see here, again, it is the original website and it looks very similar to the phishing website. The only difference that I see here is that the original website has a banner related to the events that's going on and this website doesn't have that banner and it also has a misspelling in the URL. Another site to look into if you're interested in doing more research on phishing websites is called Fish Tank. Fishtank.com is a website that allows you to search specifically for sites that have been reported to be phishing websites. It'll allow you to list these sites that are valid phishing websites as well as sort through sites that are currently online or currently offline. Additionally, you can contribute to the community by submitting sites that you have discovered. So overall, the most important thing to do is to be cognizant of the emails and links that you receive. 
not all emails come from legitimate sources. And if you have doubts about the legitimacy of a source, don't click on the link. Go directly to the source by typing it into your address bar or give the institution or entity a call or an email to verify the message that you've received. All right, everybody. Thanks for watching my video. If you have any questions, feel free to leave your comment in the comment section.